Asian and today I'm going to explain to you about how to use Geek Tool and I'll be explaining a lot of cool stuff on how to customize your Mac on and on and on. So let's get right to it. What you guys want to do is download Geek Tool off the App Store so you go to your App Store and search up Geek Tool. And the first thing is the monitor with the glasses so you just want to install it. Pretty much after it's done installing, for me it's already installed, so as you guys can see, you open up that. And boom, I have already all my scripts set up, so I'm just going to quickly explain everything. All the all the scripts where the links are going to be in the description bar, and yeah, the links for the downloads, and stuff like that. So, so first let's explain the date. So pretty much all the time or the date, as you guys can see over here, all the time or the date commands all start with date. And pretty much, as you guys can see, it's date. Whoops, it's date, and then plus is like it's configuring what section of the date big database you want. So the A would be the day itself, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, whatever. And then the D would be the date, the actual number. B would be the month, and your Y would be the year. And it's really important that you don't change the uppercase or lowercase because if you accidentally fidget with it, and if you run it, then as you guys can see, it shortens it. Stuff like, stuff like that can happen. And so Geek Tool is pretty fragile, but at the same time, it's a really cool program that you guys have to watch out with. So now let's go on to the time. So the hour is I, an uppercase I. The seconds is an uppercase S. Now, for the hours, I had a problem because. All the other tutorials I found showed me H, and then I had to like test out every single alphabet to figure out it was I in the end. Oops, and then the, oh yeah, 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 I'm sorry guys. The minute is an uppercase M. As I said, be careful you don't do an lowercase because it's probably going to ruin it. Because that's a month, too. That's the, that's a numerical value of a month. Just in case you don't. That's the, that's writing it in alphabet. And so pretty much now I'll explain the weather. So pretty much for the weather, the, the good thing about the weather is that, the good thing about Geek Quill overall is that I can get stuff off of the internet, of like links, and then just take the core information within that link. So pretty much what this does is, takes that, so it pretty much takes the information off of that link, and then grabs the current conditions, which is the partly cloudy or windy, and then it also grabs out the the degrees, the temperature as well. So that's pretty much what this script does. And all the tutorials I found, they were all in Fahrenheit, so it really irritated, irritated me. But the, the script I'm going to upload is going to be in Celsius. If you guys want Fahrenheit, please leave a comment below. Or actually, I'll just put both of them there. Anyway, so that's that. And so let's go to the disk meter. So pretty much how this thing works is, so this one is just, you just put something stupid. So let's say, Sajin is awesome, and then you do override text. Because that is an invalid command. If a computer could read that, that would just be awesome. But because that's not a legit command, legitimate command, it overrides it puts out an error if you want that then it's gonna show a red because it's an error. So you set override text, you can do that for anything. So you do that and then you'd be like you can smash keyboard and then write override text and then be like ooh and then it should work. Just like that. And I'm gonna get rid of that. So this one is what runs so pretty much how this works is is there's a file and everything and this script is run. And when, what this script does is, there's multiple pictures here of the percentages in. This script constantly checks with the computer how much there is. And then it updates the tmp.png, the temp, the temp file, which updates this automatically. And, and the white part is the full part, so it gets more and more. For me, I think I'm already at like 70%. Yeah, it looks like it. So, I'm pretty sure I've set that on. Oh my gosh, 10 seconds. My bad. Oh. And then this is just the picture, which is a temp.png, as I said. Because that script automatically keeps keeps uh, updating it. That's how it works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my. Set that again. Disk capacity, TMP. There you go. So that works. 
So as you guys can see, that's how Geek Tool works. Uh, the links for downloads and and the scripts for these will be in the description bar below. So thank you for watching. Talk to you guys later.